Okay, here we are on the assault of Alpe d'Huez. We're eight, eight minutes, 15 seconds in. We've gotten through the hardest parts. It's about 10 after 8, and there's the village of Bois de Alcon, where we stayed the night. This is our second turn. They're labeled in reverse order, making this turn number 20, named for Iban Mayo. And then the road goes up. Okay, we settled into our pace here on Le Alpe d'Huez, and we're coming up on turn 13. There have been no other bikes about three cars coming down and one on its way up. So we've really gained on the valley below now. We've reached 1120 meters starting at 720. On our way to 1860. We've made it to turn 11 in 31 minutes. This one dedicated to stage winner Bernard Hinault in 1986. And here is turn 11. Actually the grade has gotten a little more manageable, but if you look up, it's going to go up. We're going up there, and eventually up there. We've reached turn number nine. 38 minutes, 55 seconds. We'll continue up there. Here's where we've been. Still the only cyclist out here. Spectacular. All right, we've done it. We've made it to turn number one, Giuseppe Guerini. It's all fog up here, all fog, nothing to see. But we're above the town of Alpe d'Huez, and we still have two kilometers to the summit, to the actual Tour de France finish. Here we go. Voila, we are there. One fifteen. Okay, that other finish was a false finish down in Alpe d'Huez. Here we are another two kilometers later getting to the actual finish. We'll call it about 123 with the slight detour. Okay, here we are. The official finish. Okay, we've reached the top of Alpe d'Huez, but there's one problem. There's not a soul around to take a picture of me. But, as evidence, I did make it. Glad to be here. <laughs>